Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock, and I'm Pearl of Wisdom. And you are watching my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And we're going to be talking about betting today. Betting for the games and the bets we did yesterday and all that. And you're going to tell me what bets you did, how you did. Did you make money? Did you not make money? All of those sort of things like that. If you haven't already, ready, I'd highly recommend you follow. Nah, don't recommend it. Be nice. Subscribe, hit the bell, help this channel out. It's a lot of fun. I give you free plays, uh, give you free leans, all of those sort of things like that. And uh, if you're really enjoying yourself, we're changing over. I have a Patreon that I'll put in the comment section. And uh, we're changing things around there a little bit. We're making it more into a gathering together to get information, to give our best bets and have fun together. I'm doing lives. I did a live last night for the Philadelphia game. And I'll probably do a live tonight for either Dallas Calgary or Islanders Washington Capitals. Maybe both. But tell me which one you'd like to do a live with down in the comment section. And we can get together and, and connect. <laughs> okay. All right. Also, you get a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. So we're going to be talking about, uh, if you don't know what that is, just, just subscribe and I'll send Hernandez or Melissa over there. And uh, Helen will grind up some pearls, and we'll send you some pearls, too. So, okay, let's go. Um, yesterday, the uh, Philadelphia Flyers game. Um, wow, that was, I had, we had the Flyers on the ML, didn't we? That didn't work. Then we had the Flyers over, didn't we? <laughs> that didn't work either. My gosh, that's a crazy series. You know what? My biggest mistake on that yesterday was when um, Gallagher, Nathan Gallagher, uh, was in the conference afterwards, the media discussion, talking to him and asking him questions because he got sat. And his response, I should have known, Julian was brilliant. He wanted to show people what it meant to be a player. You know, what it meant to be, want to be on that ice. And Gallagher came up, played his ass off. And Philly didn't match it. And that's really what's coming down coming down to here with Philly. They And, and it is the way it is in the playoffs, actually, now. If, you've got to be willing to match it. You've got to be willing to find that emotion that is coming to you from the other side within your team. Uh, and uh, Philadelphia didn't do it. I really thought they would, and um, no, I was incorrect. We did have Boston ML. Uh, I kind of leaned to the over there, but pretty, pretty much broke even. I had Colorado to win. I actually suggested that a PL was a good play as well. I hope some of my a lot of my clients did that because they just butchered Arizona. Apparently, Dvorak for a center for the Arizona Coyotes was playing with a separated shoulder. They were already out uh, without uh, Schmaltz, who is their second line center. Um, they basically had step on and nobody else up the middle. I knew pretty much knew Colorado was going to win that game, although there wasn't much juice on it. So interesting indeed. And then Vancouver and St. Louis, I kind of leaned St. Louis on that game. I didn't put a bet out there for anybody. But uh, Vancouver showed a lot of, is showing a lot of resilience, man. This team, if they can get by St. Louis, which I think St. Louis will probably win, losing Tarasenko doesn't help. Uh, Allen is going back to the Allen like last game. It makes you uneasy because Allen seems to have a couple good games and then he goes in the tank. And Bennington hasn't looked good. Really, St. Louis, it's been all about not getting the goaltending this year. And... Uh, if that continues, Vancouver comes back and wins a series. I mean, that young team going into the next round would be a very difficult team to beat. So, uh, like I said, I didn't have a lean on that. I kind of leaned the over, but I didn't put any bets on it. Today, let's look at today's games, boys and girls. Okay, the Islanders versus the Washington Capitals. They are actually giving uh, Washington dog money here. Are the Islanders dog money here for some reason? And uh, I'm going to look this up as I'm talking to you just to make sure because it's under a different system here. No, sorry. Capitals are getting dog money on this game. No, sorry, money easy. 
I should have looked this up before. <laughs> 1.9, 1 1.9. They're both getting the same. So I like the Islanders to finish her off here. Um, Ovechkin did put his foot down last game and say, okay, we're not going to get swept. Uh, but the Islanders let him in the door. They were up 2 nothing, and uh, they let him in the door. And uh, it was just sort of like Philadelphia did, does with Mon did with Montreal. I, I don't know how many tell the no sorry it was what Tampa Bay did with uh, Colorado. I didn't talk about that or Columbus. I didn't talk about that game. I had Tampa ML. That was another one I gave you guys, didn't I? Yeah, that's right. Um, Columbus does did what they normally don't do, and they fell apart at the end when the pressure came on. And that's kind of what Columbus is known for is not doing that. But that Tampa team is strong, and I think Tampa will likely, I'd put a future on that probably. I think they'll likely win the Cup this year. Um, Washington, New York Islanders again. I'm taking the Islanders. Uh, I, I, just, I just can't believe that they're going to make that same mistake again. Uh, getting up to nothing um, like they did, assuming they do. But I, I don't think there's going to be a letdown here. Trotz is a great coach. I'm pretty sure he'll have them well prepared for for that not happening again. And um, they'll play Washington the way they play Washington, uh, the way they play all teams. And that very, like I was talking to a guy, I went to uh, some East Indian food with a little lady. And uh, it was an East Indian guy. He was a big hockey fan. We were talking back and forth about hockey. And he said the Islanders are, are not fun to watch. And I, I get, would yes, for your average fan, the Islanders are not fun to watch. But if you like watching tactical hockey, it is actually. The way they're right on each player every single time they touch the puck and all of those things like that, that's all coached. And it's... Um, it's all done. Um, it's kind of repetitive. If you think it's not fun to watch that, th think about how it is to play it. <laughs> it's it takes work to set up a system like that and keep on it over and over and over again. Um, and the Washington Capitals simply don't have that. They rely on skill. They try to play a speed game. Uh, they don't really have the defensemen except for Carlson and maybe Orloff to be able to play that type of system. And that's really what the problem is. And not only that, it's just a uh, uh, Reardon is just nowhere near what Trotz is. And you're staring across this team where you had this coach and you love this coach and they're coaching for another team and you're down 3-1. So pride will come into play here, but I think the Islanders will pre prevail. Um, Dallas Stars, Calgary Flames. Calgary's did everything they could to win this game, and I would imagine that uh, I always forget the name of the coach. It drives me crazy. Why do I always forget? Uh, Calgary's coach who who, who uh, switched off for Bill Peters. I'm sure his name will come to me. <laughs> I don't know why I always forget his name. It drives me crazy. Uh, probably because it drives me crazy. That's why I always forget it. But... Uh, he will definitely be back. He's done fantastic for this team. He's got every freaking thing he could get out of Lucic. Uh, great job putting Bennett, Lucic, and, and uh, Dubé out there as a lineup. Uh, uh, fantastic uh, work by him. There's definitely not a coaching issue here for sure. Uh, the Dallas Stars have been getting some offense. And... Uh, uh, these are two coaches where I always forget their names, so I'm not, I don't think I'm going to bother. Bowman, Bo, oh, not Bowman. I'll call him Bowman for now, and you'll correct me down in the comment section. <laughs> uh, Bowman, right? Uh, he, uh, I question him, but he seems to be getting a lot out of this team, actually, and he's starting to get offense out of him. It's taken a while. If that continues to happen, and then Corey Perry. Corey Perry has been everything. And that's the thing about Calgary. As soon as they lost Kachuk, I figured it dropped their odds of winning this quite a bit. Not just for his, his fire and what he brings to that team as far as leadership and desire is concerned. Uh, much like Gallagher did with Montreal. But his skill as well. He's just a very high-skilled uh, player and uh, I'm still trying to remember 
his freaking name and it's driving me crazy. Uh, I should talk to, I'm going to do it while I'm talking to you. So this game, I'm leaning Dallas uh, after all of that. I'm leaning Dallas and uh, I'm kind of hoping Calgary, I guess, because I have a soft spot for Talbot, who they've been rolling. Um, uh, we uh, we didn't want to ruin his career in uh, we didn't want to ruin his career, but we almost did. I think they don't even have the coach's name up here. They don't Jeff Ford. Jeff Ford. Okay. So they don't even have uh, uh, Talbot's. Uh, well, what I was trying to say was Talbot uh, almost got destroyed in Edmonton for ha we're having a horrible uh, defense and uh, him having to fight through that and affected his confidence a lot. I gotta say he has been playing extremely well for Calgary in this playoffs. I think it's coming to an end here, but. Um, it bodes well for his future. He, he, he's still got a few years left, and he can get a contract out there, and good for him. I hope he does well because Edmonton picked him up for two seconds and then brought him in and gave him no defense, and his confidence looked like it got shaken quite a bit. Did the same to Dubnik, by the way. <laughs> we like to do that. We like to destroy goaltenders in Edmonton. And uh, so I'm kind of rooting him for him for that reason. I feel bad for him. But anyways, there's our picks for today. We got the Islanders ML and the Dallas Stars ML. I would not be adverse to taking Calgary PL in a parlay or like both both dogs in a parlay here, a Washington PL and Calgary PL in a parlay because it's that time of year where things stay close and you could probably, things could be close here. So you could take Dallas and the PL for the opposition. That's an odd bet. Anyways, boys and girls, that's my full 42. Thank you for subscribing and hitting the bell. And thank you for our new Patreon members that we have there for supporting us. Uh, like I said, we're going to get a Discord over there. We're going to be coming together. And there's going to be lives happening now on YouTube. I got it set up so I can do lives. And uh, it's going to be so much fun. It's my brand new spanking computer that I got going here. That's my full 42. You guys have a great day. Lots of love to you.